I wanted to write something that would have the same kind of impact on readers as The Pillars of the Earth and World Without End. So Fall of Giants is the first of a trilogy. The trilogy will tell the entire history of the 20th century through the eyes of five families. And Fall of Giants is about the beginning of the 20th century. It's about the First World War and the Russian Revolution. And we see these sweeping historic events through the eyes of families, people who lived through the events, fictional people who have their own dramas and their own ambitions, their own agendas, their own stories, passions, falling in love and having children and hating people and getting revenge and all that sort of thing. Uh, but I also wanted, as well as telling what it was like to be alive then, I also want readers to understand these great events because I think although we know that the Russian Revolution happened and that there was a First World War, we don't know why these things happened. So some of my characters are decision makers or they're very close to the decision makers. They're people who are very close to uh, the Prime Minister or the President or the Kaiser. And so they're in the room when the decision is made, when somebody says, are we going to mobilize our army or not? And they make the decision, yes, we have to mobilize. Because I think, first of all, it's exciting and dramatic. And secondly, we want to understand why they made those decisions. So what I hope is that readers of Fall of Giants will not only know what it was like to live through those events and become engaged with these characters, but we'll also understand why those things happened and how things turned out the way they did. Needless to say, there was a great deal of research uh, required for Fall of Giants, and some of it I did here at the Imperial War Museum. Uh, they have objects here. It's very important to see the objects, you know, to look at the the rifles and uh, hand grenades and so on that they handled. I also saw here a telegram. The only time I've ever seen an actual example of the famous telegrams that came in the First World War to the homes of the parents of men who'd been killed in France. Um, in order to make sure that my research is accurate, I normally employ experts to check my books before they're published. And in the case of Fall of Giants, it was a, quite a major task. I ended up, in fact, employing eight historians, most of them professors of history at universities in the UK and the USA and Germany, to check my work. And they all read the first draft, some of them read the second draft, and sent me long reports. And so I hope that there will be uh, no mistakes in Fall of Giants, or at least no more mistakes than there are in the average history book. At the beginning of Fall of Giants, we have a German family. They are diplomats. And the character we're interested in is young Walter, who is in intelligence. He's a military attaché at the German embassy in London, but he's actually a spy. The Russian family is two brothers. Uh, one hard-working, sensible, a planner, the other a bit of a party lover. And their great dream is to go to America, but only one of them is going to make it. There's an American family. Young Gus Dewar is kind of awkward socially and a bit funny looking, but very smart. And he works in the White House. He's an aide to President Woodrow Wilson. And then there are two British families, an aristocratic family, very wealthy, very posh, the Fitzherberts, and finally a coal mining family who actually dig the coal underneath the land owned by the Fitzherberts. I suppose my favorite character is Ethel. She's a pretty sexy young woman, the daughter of a coal mining family, but she works as a housekeeper for the Fitz Fitzherberts. And uh, as you'll see, when you read the story, she has the potential to be a lot more than just a maid. 